Yeah, that's where I try to say in our dreams, sometimes we'll look into the future and we'll look at things and we'll get shown and then it happens in our life. It's like we're glimpsing things that are coming to us. And the universe is trying to prove to you you're on your path, you're manifesting and you're doing these things. So it'll allow you to see something or you'll see a person or know something and a few days later it happens and it's like they allowed you to see that and then it came in and just proved that this is you on your path. You don't have to worry that there's something else doing this, that whatever it is we're creating and manifesting, it's coming to us. So it's just a way of reaffirming and making you feel safer as you're, you're doing your journey. Cool. I love dreams. And it it's magical. Like even that was three days later, but there's also this belief inside of you that it is true because of the clarity of the dream that you had. And, you know, it doesn't happen every night. Um, not that it couldn't, uh, but it's just what you need to reaffirm something, you know, that brings different shifts into your consciousness or reality, I think. And it's your experience. It's your dreams. It's your subconscious. It's your conscious self. It's your choice in the waking world to like brush it off into meaning nothing or to give meaning to it it's uh uh it's really cool how you know we love our partners for sure and this is like how terry is this like yeah <laughs> i'll believe it when i see it <laughs> and then it's like it doesn't change the fact that you feel the way that you feel um, but for some people it can shut doors down and then it, it came through it's like you you recognize the energy of the clarity of it right you know it's true or you understand it and that's your experience of your, your, your dream or your magic that's happening for you. And it's like, Bania, that you're laying on your bed and you feel like you're levitating. So you know that you're not because you're thinking the physics, <laughs> you know, but you also feel a sensation. And uh, uh, one day you're going to be like, I'm freaking levitating. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not laying on this bed. I'm a, I'm hovering. And you're going to be okay with that belief or that thought or that feeling. And you're just going to see what happens next. You know, it's like, like I said, one step at a time, you didn't fail. Um, but there's this trust that in your experience that you're having. See, as a child, the universe would allow me to see my dreams and where sometimes I'd see the whole day from the time I woke up till I went to sleep and everything would come true. And so I would share it with my cousin and he thought I was really evil because everything would play out throughout the day. Like I'd sit there at breakfast and I'm like, this is what's gonna go on. And he'd be laughing at me and that. And then throughout the day, everything happens. And then at night he'd go home and tell my granddad how I did all of these things. And I'm like, I didn't do it. That's what I saw. That's why I'm always saying, this is what I saw. And when the universe shows me things, I just know they're showing me something for a reason. And with the dreams, a lot of people don't realize part of that psychic ability and that is you've already been given answers mm -hmm. and things come ahead of time. Sometimes it's like one time I was uh, asking the universe because I had a feeling somebody was going to show up and I had a feeling it was anywhere from a week to 10 days. And I was asking the universe, okay, I'm picking up this, that somebody's coming and they really need my help. And I was sitting there and the spirit came in. It was like a moose or something. And it sort of went in my brain and I'm closing my eyes. I'm like, okay, what is this? Is somebody sending this or is this coming for a reason? And this moose sort of looked around and left. And I'm like, okay, that was really strange. And this happened for a couple of days in a row. And on the last day, it's like the moose came in and I'm like, okay, what do you want? Why do you keep coming in? And he says that when the person shows up, you'll understand and know what you need to do with her. So the day comes and the person knocks on the door. I open the door, the person comes in and says, uh, I heard about you and I am coming to see you and I need a little help here. And he sits down and all of a sudden, all this starts, starts coming through and everything. And the moose is sort of a, his spirit animal and it was trying to give me answers so when he came, I'd be able to share stuff with him. So 
sometimes we're unaware. This is where we're like, I made that up or that's my imagination. It's like, you have to start really paying attention to mm -hmm. the things that go on because there's lots that goes on, but we're so used to in this world just blowing it off and going, no, that's yeah, just my mind running wild on me. And it's like, if you really, really pay attention, you'll start seeing and understanding more and more and more. And it's like, you don't have to force it. It just comes to you because people get into spirituality and they chase things. Mm -hmm. And when you're chasing things, you can spend years and years forcing yourself to go all over the place instead of going, okay, the universe is there. It knows everything about me. It knows what my future is. There are guardian angels or spirits or ancestors whoever's around me they've been there watching and are trying to help me to get in the future so why don't i just start inviting this why don't i just allow this and let it open and, and sort of experiment and see what it's going to do and if it's something i want to work with because not everything you're going to work with some things are like hmm no, it's there. I'll just put it to the side. Maybe later I'll ask for it back and it'll open up bigger and I'll know what to do more with it. But for now, this is what I'm going to work with and I'm going to see where it's going to take me. And there's different layers and sometimes the layers are compressed. And because we're doing too much things and when we allow it to come to us, those things start opening and they start letting you start discovering other things that's where i'm like if you're using this one gift and you're focusing and focusing and then all of a sudden you're like whoa i'm aware of this where did this come from and all of a sudden you start seeing and other things are different you start feeling things and other things and you allow that to open and expand and you're like okay i'm curious about this now what is this and how do i allow it to get bigger so i can use it and it will start teaching you more and more and more. That's why meditations and all of that people, they hear about stuff and they're like, oh, I want to meditate and go into the universe. I'm like, why? Like, I look out in the universe, there's billions of stars and I want to go out there. Where am I going to? I really haven't got a clue. So I would rather go inside and then have a guide or spirit take me somewhere take me to a place to teach and show me things. And that way I'm not just chasing, I'm not just projecting or a lot of people I know they use guided meditations to, I know this one lady, she goes out into the universe. She disappears and everything. And when she comes back, she's like, I know I did all of this, but I don't know where I went. I'm like, so why are you doing it? Like, if you're doing all of this, like what's the purpose? If after you come out of it, you don't know what you did or where you were. Um, it was like my godmother, I went to a church she was going to, and somebody told me that she spoke in tongues, and I'm like, okay, I'm really curious about this, because it's in the Bible, and I've heard stuff about it, so I went to this church, and I sat way in the back, and sure enough, my godmother comes in, and she walks up to the front, and she's standing there, and she's muttering a bit, and then all of a sudden, she puts up her hands up in the air, and she. Her eyes are closed and she starts rocking back and forth and she's like, oh, no, 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 no. and I'm like, what is she saying? Like, is she really saying anything? Like, okay, this doesn't make sense to me. Like, and she did that for, I don't know, a good 15, 20 minutes. And then she stopped and she came over and she sat beside me and she's like, oh, it's so good to see you in church. And because she always tried to get me to go to church and I'm like, I wouldn't go. I'm like, I do my own thing, whatever. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, so what were you doing up there? Somebody told me you speak in tongues. And she says, well, when I go up there and I plug in, she says, I go to this world or whatever. And she says, while I'm there, I know everything, whatever I'm saying, whatever I'm doing, I know it. And when I come back, though, I don't remember anything. And I'm like, but what are the words? She says, oh, I speak in, it's called speaking in tongues because we're fooling the devil. And I'm like, you're fooling the devil? Like, uh, this doesn't make sense. Like, get real here. Like, why do you want to fool the devil? And I'm like, and she says, yeah, we speak in all this so he won't understand what we're saying. And I'm like, but what if you were doing curses and spells on everybody in the church and you were sealing us all or something like that? And I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> Whatever this is, 
I don't want nothing to do with it. Because when I do things and I go places, I see things and I remember and I know what I'm doing. And I share it with people. I don't want to go to a place where they're getting me to do all kinds of stuff. And then when I come back, I have no idea what I've done or why I go there or what it's all about. So I don't understand the idea of uh, wanting to deceive the devil. If, if he's able to be there, then there's a reason for it. And it's like he can see your energies and where you're going and everything. So how are you fooling him by babbling, saying, hum -na -na, or all these other things? It, to me, it doesn't really make sense. So when you're allowing things to come to you, there's spirits around you and they know what your, your chosen path is and why you were born and why you have gifts and abilities and who in your ancestors were you know, teachers and evolved spiritual beings and your lineage and where you're going. So once you start inviting, all these things come in and it's like, okay, I've been to this place now. What is here? What am I doing? And why am I doing? I ask many, many questions and I always have a memory. I always, I can tell you stories about all kinds of different things. So when people say they go to these places and they have no memories, I'm like, so why are you doing that? It's like my friend, when she disappears, she goes out there somewhere and she comes back and she's confused. And I'm like, so why are you doing it? Because you should remember, you should feel good. You should be able to tell me, you should be able to share all kinds of things. But if you're not able to, then what is the purpose in this? 